Tonight, dozens of people in Woodland Park again voicing their concerns with a proposed and already approved tiny home development there. It's slotted for 53 units and is said to provide a more affordable solution. Those opposed, though, say it's just the opposite. Our Sam Kramer at the hearing. He's in studio tonight with a breakdown. Sam. Now, to give you an idea of how heated this issue is, the hearing is still going on. It began at 630. The heart of this issue is that the city, along with developer M3 XP2 LLC, made errors in this process. They do not believe this should have been a permitted use. They're worried the homes will not be affordable and say that it could damage their property values. But opposition also was concerned approval happened without public hearings. Planning Director Sally Riley, though, she aimed to refute their claims today, saying those homes are manufactured single family homes. To that end, she says everything is up to code and public hearings were not necessary. It is very clear in this matrix that a single family non subdivided project is a permitted use and therefore an administrative review done by staff. There are also concerns the development would damage the beauty and character of the city, which Riley and the project lead both denied. We will update you on what comes next when a vote is held and when that hearing is finally over. Always watching out for you, Woodland Park, Sam Kramer, News 5.